Let's see what happens for this match vote for the team you think will come out on top with the hashtag TL win or hashtag GV win. We're at LOL Esports. We'll be checking in to see how the fan vote stands in just a bit. Week two, day two, game two. We're about to head in onto the rift for another one. Let's see what these guys can do for each other. Can Liquid keep a perfect record? There's boots mobility on Alistair, so even if he walks past a ward, there's a chance he can burn a summer spell from Kloss. They're looking to mm. turn something big here. They're just waiting a fair bit of time because they don't think Piglet would wait in that brush too long. They don't want to run into Piglet and Maokai. So let's watch this. He's running. Now they see him. Can Kloss get away? There's one lockdown. He actually goes towards Hauntzer, thinking the fight was going to be there. What a headbutt from Bunny Fufu to get an extra shot in from the turret. A little bit of surplus damage as they figure out who they want. Little arcane heal coming from Quas. Is too many spells were cast. They have to use the cataclysm. He heals once again from all the abilities being cast and his own. He will finally go down. He's a damn strong tree, though. Quas falls for first blood. The whole reason that took an extra 10 seconds here. Well, it cost them a little bit of time on the top side. I'm sure that instance won't come to light too many times, but we did see it hurt him for a second. <laughs> Great he works. is hatching that ward right now. He just heads over to Hauntzer, gets the smite. Move is there as well. That would be a very nice ultimate to put down on both of them, but he chooses Dominate as he tries to get away. Flashes in, says Hauntzer. And they're oh going to keep boy. going across. Keen comes up now. Let's see how they trade this one across. Again, it's going to be Move getting in. Move going for the auto for a bit more damage, and they do give it over to Keen. And he doesn't even miss that much in mid lane. Fantastic kill distribution right Especially with the new Rise builds being mainly offensive. Uh, Rod of Ages into Seraphs into just Ludens, basically. Phoenix could maybe chunk him down. Keen, though, catches him out of position. Oh, Step back. He turned the petrifying gaze. That means only the slow procs onto Keen. Move, allowing him to get the kill once again. Move's doing his best to never get a kill, but only get assists. <laughs> and he takes half his health bar in damage. That means they can get a little bit more roam on any position they want to kind of strengthen their forces in. Looks like it's going to be the mid lane right now. On to Phoenix. Void Rush coming in as well. And that's going to be try it. Oh, the helpful oh. dominate. He said, sorry, bro. Uh, I'm out of here. He's going to say, maybe a pop up. That's all he's looking for. Oh, but this will show us how strong Rise really is. Yep. A little bit of spell vamp coming in through there. He has the flash, but he's staying in it. If he wants to get over the wall, he can. It's Quas hitting him up right now. He gets over the wall. Now on the backside of the fight, Bunny Fufu and Move are in with Quas, and he gets bumped out for a second by the headbutt. They are going to finalize the kill on to Move Piglet over the wall nicely with the flash to finalize one. Three to one so far in favor of Gravity here. As Liquid Mega taking out Keen, one more shot. A triple kill for him in the brawl. What a chaotic fight and so many choke points in the jungle, but Gravity comes up big Hunter, and they take more. The turret! No! Hunter. Yeah. User error. It was not picked up by Phoenix. He went for the Archangel Staff, which is already switched over into a Saris Embrace. Back on to right. Hauntzer. And it looks like there'll be a shot. Oh, 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 he almost killed Phoenix. All right. Wow. Uh, they can have two people clearing wards, which makes it look like a Baron prep when they're actually already engaged on Baron. Scrying Orb reveals them, though. Team Liquid going in for the steal. Bunny Fufu hits Expecial and Piglet. They can't get the DPS into the fight. They zero out Dominate immediately as he goes in for the steal. Quas on the bottom side gets rooted once. There'll be a follow-up route to come with that. Actually, nobody can close in on the Cataclysm over the wall, but Quas puts himself into range with a twist. In advance, Phoenix Flash over into Petrifying Gaze, and they're trying to finish off the members of Gravity. Only move goes down. Gravity. Well, if they get two people on him, they can chunk him down pretty quick. Yeah. Just can't get caught. Oh, yeah. Quas is trying word. to block right now for Piglet. This is actually nice positioning. Can they do it? Piglet very close to take it on. Hansa pushes him up against the wall. There's the Saris Embrace along with the RK Mastery coming out. Oh Keep my that God. shield on. Quas. He goes down to Hauntzer, and that means Piglet has to run for his life. The Desperate Power is out. He locks him up. He comes up with a double kill, and the turn on the top side is destroyed. Gravity's got the game. That's why on this patch, you have to ban Rise. That was unreal what Hauntzer just did to Team Liquid. Gravity Absolutely. pushed to the other side, take down the Nexus turrets, and take the game. Not safe for life action, but I'm sure we'll get a replay of it. 14 to 3. The perfect record has been broken in the second week of the LCS Summer Split. Gravity take down Team Liquid to go 3-1 and one on the Summer Split. Jeez. Dominating performance from Gravity. Aside from having Rise, which to many 